Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the derived transformation in Azure Data Factory. It is a very useful transformation in Azure Data Factory. Let us first understand how derived transformation works and then we will do a practical. So when actually we use a derived transformation, whenever you have to generate a new column from an existing column or you have to update an existing column, then we use a derived transformation in Azure Data Factory. For taking example, Suppose we have a one data set. In this data set, I have certain column like we have a ID, we have a name, we have a salary. Now in the salary column, we are getting few null value. The value is not there. And if you want to replace this value as a unknown or you want to replace with a zero, then with the help of the derived transformation, it is possible. Suppose you have a name column where all the names are coming like Manish, Rahul and all. Now your requirement is like you have to convert this name into the upper case. So how actually we can do with the help of the derived transformation we can do. Suppose you have a two column and this two column you want to concat and the combination of that you want to store in a new column. So how actually we can do with the help of the derived transformation we can do. So from an existing column if you want to change so with the help of certain expression we can uh, change that so derived transformation actually help if you have to generate a new column from an existing column and or if you have to update existing column then we can use a derived transformation i will show you one data and that will be the practical we will do also so this is my source data which i have i have id name salary address location and email and what is my requirement is like if you will see in the name column few value is coming as a blank now what actually I want I want in my target location in my output whatever the blank value is coming that I want to replace as a unknown that is a my first requirement the second requirement in a salary column also you can see we have a few value which is coming as a blank so what I want whatever the blank is coming we have to replace with the 10,000 because that is a by default value so what we are doing in existing column we are changing the values with the help of the derived transformation so derived transformation help if you have to do some changes in an existing column or if you have to derive a new column for the new derive in this case what we are going to do we are going to derive a new column country in this country whatever the address is there right everything we will try to store into the upper case so whatever the value is coming in an address we will create a new column as a country and the address value all we will convert into the upper case and we'll try to store into the country so that are the practical we are going to do in this particular video so let's do a practical and let's understand that so this is my storage account i have a two container first is the input container i have a file employee.csv file if i show you this is my csv file is available what we are going to do whatever the blank value is coming right we want to replace this with unknown and the salary we want to replace with the 10,000 and we are going to create a new column name as a country so that is the practical so I'll open my data factory what we will do we will create a data flow so click on the data flow click on the new data flow click on the add source the first step is like to create a data set right so go to the data set click on the new where our file is file is blob storage so select that file is csv so we will select that we will create a link service so that we can able to connect with the blob storage so for that we have to select the subscription we have to select the storage account and after that click on the create so link service and data set is a very common process for all the data factory operation after that you have to select the file path so where my file is so I will select that employee1.csv click on the ok click on the ok now if you want to preview your data so for that what you have to do first you have to go into the data flow debug you have to on this go to the data preview refresh this now you should be able to preview your data once you will be able to preview your data then we will go further now we can see I am able to read my data employee ID name salary address and all now you can see the name few value which was not there it was coming as a null so this null value we want to replace so we want to replace with the unknown and the salary with the 10,000 right so what I will do I will click here and you can see 
here we have a multiple option what we are going to see we are going to see a derived column so select that in this derived column the first thing is like select the name give the description incoming stream is the source one so automatically it is coming now after that you can see here we have a columns option now in the column option you can see if you want to add a new column you can add from here or from existing column you can select so suppose here you will see i have a existing column so in a name we have a few value which is coming as a blank uh, which is coming as a null we want to replace as a unknown so how actually we can do for that we can write expression so click on the open expression or you can do open expression builder here click here so the column name we have selected name so what we will write we will write one if condition so you have to write double if we will check is null so is null is one of the condition we have so select that is null and here we will write a condition if is null name is our column name so what we are writing if name is is null then what we will do we will try to replace with unknown otherwise it should be whatever the value is available in a name it should be so what is the condition we are writing if the name we have a column name as a name right in the name column if the value is coming as a null then we will replace with the unknown otherwise whatever the name is coming that value we want click on the save and finish now if you want to preview whether it's working fine or not click on the data preview and refresh that's how we have to debug okay so first do a changes and come to the data preview and uh, preview your data whether everything looks good or not if it is look it looks good then only you go further now let's see come to the name you can see whatever the null was coming right it got replaced with the unknown unknown if i show you my data the id 5 was coming null id 5 was coming null now we have replaced with the unknown means it's working fine now what is the next thing we are going to do we are going to replace the salary whatever the null is coming with the 10,000 so how actually we can do so click on the plus first add a column select your column we will select the column name uh, salary we'll click on the open expression builder select a salary here for the name we have written this right for the salary we will write so what is the condition we will write if same condition is null select that salary if salary is coming null then what we want we want to replace with the 10,000 as the salary so that is the condition we are going to write so let's see whether it's working fine or not you can see one type mismatch is coming it is not coming properly why it is an error so it this salary it is coming as a int string so that's why it is coming error so what i will do i will replace this uh, as a string only and after that i will click on the save and finish now no error is coming if you want to preview go to the data preview if you will repress our value should be replaced so you can see whatever the blank value null value was there that got replaced with the 10,000 why it was coming as a why we have written the 10,000 in a string why not integer because whenever you read any csv file so if you go to the source go to the projection you can see this all are coming as a string now suppose if you have to convert the salaries into integer you can convert from string to the integer from here itself now after that if you go to the derived column and you can edit this open expression builder and uh, this salary 10,000 you can replace with the integer 10,000 value click on the save finish it will work fine so that is the thing you have to remember whenever you will read a csv file by default it will read everything as a string value only so you can change that in a source itself now you can see the salary and the name we have converted now let's see how actually we can add a new column what i will do i'll click on add add column so you can give any name so i will give name as a country and the, we can write any expression so click on the open expression builder go to the country here what we will write 
we want to change into the upper case whatever the address is coming that is what we want save and finish so click on the open expression this up, upper is not coming properly so what we will do again you write upper so and this you can change it to address so, so sometime what happens whenever it is not coming properly right so first you try to write suppose you have to use upper so this upper is coming right use that and then you can change that into the your column name then it will work fine click on the save finish now go to the data preview one new column should be added now you can see new column got added country and it converted all India all address into the upper case so that is how we can use a derived column and we can use that for the change the existing column or you want to add a new column with the help of that after that you we just have to go to the sync select your data set we want to save into the blob storage as a csv file continue select the same link service because the same storage is there go to the open output folder click on the ok now your uh, data flow is ready what we will do click on the pipeline new pipeline and the data flow tool we will try to drag click on the publish all click on the publish once the publish will complete we will try to run the pipeline with the help of the trigger so you can see publish is completed now click on that trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok go to the monitor refresh you can see one pipeline is running pipeline 2 let's wait it to be completed now you can see it is succeed now we will go to the our blob storage in the output file file should be available this is the file go to the edit preview so new column we have added country salary we have changed it to the 10,000 and the unknown we have whatever the null was there yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching